Welcome to North American Hockey Systems Off-Ice Preparation DVD. Hello, I'm Coach Randall. This DVD was prepared to help you get the most out of your upcoming training. To use this DVD, you'll need to practice 20 to 30 minutes daily and continue to practice daily until hockey school begins. You can use your basement or your driveway or any outdoor area that your parents say is a safe area to use. Remember to practice daily and we'll see you on the ice. The first puck carry skill will be carrying the puck behind while walking forward. Everybody should place the stick in their right hand, place the hand on your tailbone and hold it out approximately one foot behind your seat. Maybe a little bit more if you're a larger player. Then take your puck and draw it along behind you as you walk around the cone five times. Occasionally looking where you're going and then looking back to make sure you still have the puck. Look ahead and then look where you're going. This position is critical for picking up a puck that you lose behind you or if someone tries to pass behind you or if you have the puck out in front and you lose it, you try to kick it and miss, but uh, you then pick it up with your stick behind you. Also for backhand shooting. Remember, each time you do this, circle five times with the right hand then switch hands, place that hand on your tailbone again, and remember to draw the puck along behind you the best you can. And this will get your puck carry skills started. This puck carry skill is pushing the puck while walking forward. Uh, we begin by placing the stick in the outside arm, uh, preferably the right hand. So we have to circle this way to make sure the right hand is the outside arm. And then take and push the puck with the stick. And just walk along, keeping it on the stick. Again, looking up, looking where you're going, checking to make sure the puck stays on your stick. And around and around you go five times. And then switch hands and away we go in the other direction. Now, whether you're right-handed or left-handed doesn't matter. Remember, always start in the right arm. We want to get that one strengthened up nice and strong in its coordination. This puck carry skill will be walking backwards while pulling the puck. Again, we start with the right hand. We'll be circling in this direction. So we'll be drawing the puck towards us. Another way to figure out uh, that you've got the stick in the right hand is it's in the outside arm of the circle you're making. So here we are just drawing the puck along in front of us, slowly walking backwards, check the puck, and then look where we're going. Check the puck, maybe even look this way, look that way, but be free to skate along pulling the puck. And again, we're starting with one, one hand now. Eventually, we'll add two hands at a later date. Once you've done the one side, then switch hands again and go the other direction. Drawing the puck along in front of you. Remember each one of these exercises, circle five times and then go on to the next one. This puck carry skill is called walking backwards while pushing the puck. Now, as we're going backwards, we put the puck out in front of us. Again, we're going to start with the right hand and we're just going to turn around and we're going to skip the puck on the first circle. We're going to walk around backwards with a stick behind us. Now, remember, in each one of these puck carry skills, we always start by placing the stick, uh, the top hand on our tailbone that's holding the stick and then hold that hand out behind our seat and away we go. Now, this time as we come by, we will pick up the puck and we'll begin to push it. And once again, we watch the puck, 
we look where we're going. We watch the puck, we look where we're going. In the beginning, you may have to watch the puck a little bit more than look where you're going. But again, get about five circles. And then once you've completed your five in the one direction, stop. By the way, if you get dizzy from time to time, just stop for a few moments and get undizzy. And then switch hands. Once again, place the hand on your tailbone. As we suggest in this one, you may want to walk around once first without the puck and then pick it up on your way around. And then away it goes. So these are walking backwards while pushing the puck. Very, very important skill, especially when we take this one to the ice. As we do the basic dribble here, we need to remember that as we move the stick back and forth that the blade is rolling back and forth and the hands, both hands, are turning back and forth. Your hands will be about so much apart proportionally to the size of your body. Now, we have a piece of tape on the floor that we put down initially to guide us here. I stand on the line and whatever side my stick blade's on, this is what tells me where I need to be. So I get on this side. Then my stick comes over to the other side and I'm going to dribble my puck right here. So this is how I get started with a front dribble that's going to keep my hands away from my body just like we see the great players do it. And then as I practice I get my head up and I work away and dribble, 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 dribble. Away we go. Checking the puck from time to time but trying to see it without looking down at all with what's known as peripheral vision. And if something doesn't feel right on the bottom of my stick I may take a quick look just to see what's there and then get my eyes right back up so I can see the play and what's going on. As you're doing these dribbles, try to do two sets of 20 times each. Just count them out until you have 20. Now as we do the side dribble, remember the wrist action and the rolling of the wrists and the stick. And now we have our feet on the line, we're facing straight ahead. We have the puck on the line beside us and we're going to put a little bit of knee, knee bend here and away we go, keeping the puck here. Now, whenever we do a side dribble, remember that the top hand goes in front of the opposite hip. Now I'm a left shot, so my right hand goes in front of my left hip, but I hold it out away from my body and away I go. Dribble and dribble back and forth, getting my 20, then a little rest, and then another 20, and away we go. Now in the opposite side dribble, we want to keep our wrist roll, but it takes a little more effort to get the puck and stick around. Take my top hand, and I pull it right around behind my same hip. So I have my right hand behind my right hip and away I go and I do my dribble here. Notice my feet are still pointed straight ahead and thereby getting me prepared for possibly a backhand shot or just a very awkward position that very few players are well trained in. Remember to do your 20, then rest and get another set of 20. Now that we've done our stationary dribble, let's do a moving dribble and in this we'll want to go back and forth five circles uh, each time we do this. Now we start with a front dribble and we get our dribble going and we try to move the puck as we dribble all the way around as far as we can go, preferably at least a half a circle and maybe a little bit more. Then we work it back and you keep rolling the wrist, keep the eyes up, check your part from time to time, make sure it's still there and bring this around on this side now as far as you can. Trying to get back to that line. Notice my feet have stayed straight ahead and we just keep working back and forth trying to get five circles each time. Now, use the puck that works best for you. Uh, some like the orange, some like the green puck with the uh, little uh, rollers in it and some may like a ball. But uh, as long as you just keep working it back and forth you're going to be able to dribble quite well.
This exercise is called heel toe pivot. Now as we set up to do this, we place the puck off to our side, we have the stick off to the side, and we put the stick, the heel of the stick, right up against the puck. We push the puck forward approximately a foot to a foot and a half, and then we turn the stick with our top hand until the toe of the stick is pointed straight down. We pull the puck straight back on our line, and we push it forward, and we pull it back again. Now, if you've never done the heel-toe part before, practice the heel-toe part by itself and get that down. Then, we go on to what we call heel-toe pivot. Now we do heel-toe, heel-toe, and we do cup the puck. To cup the puck, we take our top hand and push the stick forward, causing the blade of the stick to cup over the puck. Now we take a walk around the puck, one circle. And then we repeat again, just like this. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Cup the puck, and around I go. Now, be sure to practice this until it's quite easy. You could also do this in rollerblades. And then once you've got that down, if you had the room, you could even do it moving one circle after the other. This exercise is called dribble pivot. Like our last exercise, we'll be moving our body around the puck. So we come up with the puck on our side, stick on our side, and we dribble the puck three times, just like this. One, two, and three. Then we take that top hand again and push it forward so our blade cups over the puck and then we take a walk around the puck. And then we do it again. One, two, three, cup the puck and around I go. Now remember, you could do this with roller blades again. And as you get a little bit stronger, if you have the room, you could do it moving circle after circle after circle. Hey, this exercise is called forehand spin. Now in the early development of forehand spin, we work a lot with the lower hand only to develop the strength and coordination in this arm. Eventually this drill will be done with two hands. Now we start with the puck at our side and we do a side dribble. So let's do three side dribbles. One, two, three. Then take the top hand off your stick and then without moving your feet, move the puck forward and around your body. When the puck finally gets all the way behind you, turn around and catch up to the puck, place your hand back on the stick and repeat that dribble again. So we have a one, two, three, top hand off the stick, puck around me. Make sure the puck is making a nice big circle around you, and before you move your feet, the puck gets all the way behind you. Let's look at that one more time. The puck goes all the way behind me before I move my feet. Now, like any of the others, in the beginning you may have to look at the puck and stick a little bit more as you do more of these, then begin to do it with your head up. This exercise is called a backhand spin. Now, in a backhand spin done on the floor, we use a hula hoop to contain our feet and keep us in one place. This helps to develop a backhand spin that's more useful as a hockey player.